Hello, this is Chef and Fern at the Sun Valley Auto Club. In front of us is a beast of a Defender 90. This is a 1995 North American spec uh, D90. It's seen quite a few modifications throughout the years. A couple different uh, owners put their own spin and touch on it, and it is just a eye-catching, just rock-solid Defender. This one had an engine swap done in 2004. So it doesn't have the factory 3.9, it does have the 3.9 throttle body on top of that 4.0, but it is a, it is a 4.0 engine, uh, codes out to 50D, which is uh, 50D out of a, out of a Discovery, uh, late 90s Discovery. So we don't have the, uh, the reason why that swap was done, but we do have the paperwork showing that it was done, and then they decoded the engine as well. So, engine swap, that also leads to some true miles unknown for a couple different reasons. It looks like that was an engine swap versus a full rebuild. Of course, it was done early enough to where, you know, I mean, it's just unknown the, the condition of that engine, but it's been in for a super long time and it runs really smooth. But true miles unknown on the engine and really on the chassis. The odometer, there's a, uh, uh, let's see, we have to add 36,000 miles to the odometer because the, uh, when the engine went in, the odometer broke, and then the odometer broke again, so it's had several different odometers, really leading to the fact that true miles are unknown. It's believed to be around 55,000 miles original, but I don't have enough paperwork to, to back that up. So this is just a true miles unknown, showing 3,500 on the odometer right now, certainly not making a claim as one of the lowest mile yeah. <laughs> D90s out there, not the case. That being said, phenomenal. Let's just keep going on. We've got uh, a four inch lift on this. We have the H2O wheels. We got adjustable Fox shocks all the way around, front and back. You've got air lockers, front and back. Those are Toyo Open Country uh, rubber wrap all the way around it. It is a soft top, and that's a badger top. Some of the, one of the best aftermarket makers available. So no hard top with this, just the soft top. And it's been repainted. Ran the paint meter over it and it all just kind of shows up a real thin, higher than factory, but not seeing any bondos or really high, high readings on that. We've got these sweet aftermarket bumper mounted with hella lights. We'll turn on all those. You've got lights on the underneath as well for camping setups. You've got the winch, we've got the winch controls. We'll show you those as well. But super clean on the underside. We've got great photos of the underside to show off. And we've got these Nice sliders on here, rock sliders. And then if you've got kids or short people, you do have the steps as well. And then just pushing you forward <laughs> to show off these seats. <laughs> Fern's like, yeah, you're always pushing me around. <laughs> I could use my words, but. Yeah, those are freshly installed. The Shulman seats, those are heated as well. The nice sport seats. Five speed manual transmission. And we've got records on that transmission uh, being replaced as well. And that is a, a quick release steering wheel. All your 
zippers work. And back here is fully rhino lined. It does come with your a seat. It's a quick release seat. So if you want to just throw gear dogs back here, you can do that. And you've got extra storage on either side with these lock boxes. So if you do take the top off and go with the bikini top, you've got uh, lockable storage when you're in full open mode. But rhino lined on the bottom throughout. <laughs> Yeah, just gorgeous. There's really just not a spot if we're going around on this that's kind of a, a gotcha. Underside is great, body's great, top is tight. Certainly summertime bikini would be uh, a way to go as well. We'll show you how the, uh, some of the lights, lights work. We'll listen to the engine and I'll we'll go for a quick drive. Those little steps are nice. They're nice, yeah. Yeah, with the four inch uh, lift, we're sitting up pretty tall, so they're in a good spot, easy to use. Wipers worked. Clutch is really strong, has a really good feel to it. Engages early.
so that's a quick drive and a long walk around if you got an interest in this rig or any of our others just give me a shout I'm Shep here at the Sun Valley Auto Club 208-721-1973 thanks for watching we'll see you on the next video